And this school is one of nearly 1,900 citywide serving more than a million students. And yes, on Monday, masks will no longer be required to be worn inside. That became official with this. I'm announcing today that we are lifting the indoors mask requirements for DOE schools between, eight, between K through 12 starting Monday, March 7th. Mayor Eric Adams made it official. The change makes it optional to mask up, and we found a variety of responses to the change. They don't sanitize as much, they sneeze, you know, anything can happen. So I, she's going to keep wearing a mask. Want to wear a mask Monday or no? Yeah, I mean, we have to move forward. How do you know that your kids will keep the masks on once they get there? Oh, because they know. I don't play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm their mother. <laughs> so. But some parents of pre-K students aren't pleased that their kids are still required to mask up. A group of children that the World Health Organization doesn't think should be masked ever in the first place. So it's very frustrating for us to see that. The mayor made the announcement in Times Square with Health Commissioner Dr. Dave Choksi. They cited much lower COVID dangers in the city for being able to make the changes. Since January, the city's COVID cases and hospitalizations have dropped about 98 percent. That's why the mayor also announced that he's lifting the requirement that people show proof of vaccination at restaurants, bars, gyms, movie theaters, and other venues, also starting on Monday. One restaurant owner said it feels like the city is catching up to what's been needed for some time. Wherever I'm going, nobody asks for vaccination cards, nobody wear a mask. It's like it's already done. And the health commissioner in his last major public appearance before leaving office announced this new initiative. Today, we're releasing a new COVID alert system. There are four color-coded levels. According to our data, we are currently at a low alert level, thankfully. And depending on the severity of the level, the city could still reimpose a mask mandate or even reinstate a proof of vaccination requirement. To other quick points, the Broadway League saying it intends to have its theaters still require masks at least through the rest of this month and venues can choose to still require people to prove their vaccination status and wear masks, according to the mayor.